going on guys? We're back in Forza Horizon 3 today with a not snow video, surprisingly. I know every video that recently has just been on the snow. Today's video isn't because I wanted to bring back one of my favorite series to do, drifting used cars. This time, I wanted to try and drift a good old-fashioned sleeper car. So I'm gonna head on the auction house. I'm going to have a budget of probably 30,000 credits to spend on any car I would like, providing it is a sleeper car, so it has like less than probably, I don't know, 300 horsepower stock, and when upgraded, it has a lot. It's gonna be kinda hard to figure out how that's worked out, but I'm gonna try my best. Anyways, if you would like to submit ideas for future episodes, you can do so in the comments down below, or over on the Drifting Used Cars leaderboard on the Airtold website, which is also linked in the description. So, what shall we try? So we have a we have a max budget of 30,000 credits. So let's go let's go for a max buyout of 30,000. And then let's look for we, we probably want car class. Oh, not that. We probably want car class to be S1. If I'm honest, F S1 is what I usually drift in for like when I build a drift car, it's usually S1 class. I don't really aim for a class when I'm building a car, but they usually come out to be S1 class. This is what I was thinking of immediately. I was like, okay, we could totally get a sleeper car, but you know what would be better? A cop car, because then not only is it a piece of crap, it's also a cop car. So people are one, all which rear wheel drive. Okay, I'm going on that instantly. So not only is it like a terrible car, two, it's a cop car. So people are gonna be looking at it and being like, ah, slow, sucks. Uh, let's just hope it's not on race tires because last time, I tried to drift a car on race tires. It went badly. Actually, last time I tried to do anything on race tires, it went badly. Yep, it looks like it's gonna max out at 70 miles. I'll just write that as a DNF for the Hennessy. Well, that took like no time at all to go and find a car. Where is my Crown Vic with my NYPD paint job? Uh, let's find it somewhere. Aha! NYPD Crown Vic. So, information on this car. It has, ooh, 1,050 horsepower, 900 foot-pounds of torque, 3,300 pounds, and a 6.2 liter engine. I believe that's the big boy V8. Alrighty! NYPD Crown Vic. Now, the first thing I'll note, actually, before we even start to drive, is these tires look kinda slick. Uh, I believe these are HRE rims. But if I jump down here into photo mode, I think we might find these tires are kind of grippy. Oh, maybe not actually. Those might actually be like sport tires. I like the dirt here. Looks like a really nice paint job. But it's like, ooh, I'm not sure what tires those are. I'm scared. They might be sport tires. And if they are sport tires, then this thing might actually work. Like, how good of a burnout does it do off the line? Quite a good one. So it spins its wheels all the way up until third gear. That's a pretty good sign if I'm honest. So we'll give it a little test drive. Try to figure out some of the things about the Ford Crown Victoria that this guy might have done in terms of upgrades and whatnot. And then go and try to set a decent score for drifting. So it definitely has some sweet power, right? It's got 1,050 horsepower. So, it's not going to be any slouch and should be able to get those wheels spinning no problem. But I'm trying to figure out, what did this guy use this car for? If I hold down and I go in here and I look at some of these stats, like, can I see the camber of the wheels? Let's just pull over. It's about, it's about negative one in the front and zero in the rear. Okay, so I don't know if the guy messed around with that at all. But it's definitely possible. Could this have been a race car? I'm really not sure. It's like, it feels okay, but if I, like, did I have a rear wing on here? And did it fall off? No, I didn't have a rear wing on here. So it probably wasn't. It was probably, if I'm honest, just used as a cop car. The guy probably wanted to have some fun with his friends or something like that. And he built this thing up. And then he put it on the auction house. So he's given it some extra power. He's probably given it a little bit better tire so it could get better grip. But then other than that, probably not much thought was put into it other than just screw around with some buddies. So what does that mean for us exactly? We're going to be on a neutral ground. So at least the thing is not tuned for racing, which is good. So we will we'll, we'll have an easier time drifting something that's stock. And then 
it's got some good power, so I think we'll be okay with this. And I mean, hey, at the end of the day, you're driving a cop car, and this thing's just cool. So I'm finding the gear ratios, if I'm, if I'm honest, a bit weird, but to be fair, we're going uphill as well. So that might be screwing with some things a little bit, but I'm finding them a bit long, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm, I'm having to shift down into second gear a lot. So like, let's see for this. Like for this, that's just all second gear. It's like, and then the thing redlines a lot. So it's like coming up here, all is good, all is good, but you can see that second gear. It's like, and then say, you, you, you might be saying, well, just shift up. That's, that's the solution. It's like, if I try to shift up, I find the car like has really low revs in third gear and just the power dies out a bit, which is something kind of weird to say about a thousand horsepower car, but I find, I find that's just what happens. So anyways, we have arrived at the drift road, so let's head up to the top, turn around, and set our attempt number one score for this thing. I'm gonna drift all the way up just to sort of see how it does. Let's see though, I mean, I need something quite stable, right? Oh, traffic is great. We're gonna run into a lot of them today. So, all right, let's go for attempt number one. Hope and pray that no one is on the road. All right, so let's go for attempt number one. I'm gonna try gripping in here. And then as soon as we get on this part, rip it big. There we go. And then snap it back. Oh, traffic, traffic, why? Why? Well, let's go back up and try that one again. Traffic's not annoying at all in this game. There has to be an easier way just to do like free roam driving with traffic off. I know there are ways of doing it, it's just, they're so long-winded and unnecessary. There needs to be just a switch in the menu. Traffic, off. That's it! Also, why is everyone in Mustangs? Like, I get that I'm in a Ford, but everyone's in Mustangs. Like, look, there's, oh, uh, that's a, that's not a Mustang. So let's come in, rip the handbrake, go for a big angle there, snap it back with some braking, shift down there, swing it out wide, try to extend the corner as much as possible to maximize all of those points. Watch out for the X5, snap it back. We can almost slow down a bit. We're up to 73k points, it's not bad. Let's go round the outside to maximize all those points. There's my gear ratio having trouble, trying to drift in second gear, and 93,000 points. It's not too bad, I think that's actually on pace with the car that I tried drifting in episode four, that old BMW. So 93K, that's our benchmark score. I have a feeling that we can beat that. That was a good run, but I feel like we can get over 100K. Let's try going with the other method, shifting in here and then getting into the corner sideways already. I mean, it slows us down a little bit, this method, but we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna be shift, I'm gonna stay in second gear. I'm gonna try to stay more out wide this time. See if I can get more points that way. I see this Corvette all the way up here. I hope he doesn't get in my way because I will need to go around the outside up here. Oh, we're at 93K. Okay, going in the inside apparently. There's 100K. There's 104K. Not bad. And that was with a pretty poor entry. I mean, we had an okay entry, but it could have been a lot better. So what was that, 104? What's that on the leaderboard? The GMC Vandura picked up 111. Oh my God, we almost beat the GMC. I think if there is something that could do it, this thing has a very good chance to. If we, if we extend the corners as much as possible and we don't run into traffic problems, like if I could ring it around the outside there, we could have got 111K there almost. Yeah! Isn't this right? We got the cop horn. Oh, this is, this is good. Build up the speed, try to get a good amount of speed going into here and then snap it in here because that worked better. And then going into the corner. See, technically I never went in now. I spun out before the corner. Try to go for attempt 3.5, we'll call this. I can't even see where the zone starts because I knocked over all the things. Now, oh, why did I go down to first gear? Oh, that might hurt me. So try to go around the outside here. I killed a lot of my speed. Go around the outside, maximize all the points. We're up to 40k. This is okay. This is looking okay. Watch out for these guys and their Mustangs. Oh, another one. Okay, this is okay. Around the outside here. I don't think this is going to be as good of a run. 85k. Ring it, ring it, ring it. Ah! <laughs> 89k worst run of them all but a flamboyant finish holy shit those lights come on conclusion on the ford cop car 
Not a bad car to drift around in, just the way it's built right now. The guy actually did pretty well. He's got the big V8 in there. He's got a thousand horsepower in there. So, I mean, it's definitely not, it's definitely not a slouch or anything like that. It's just, like, I find the gear ratio is a little weird. But other than that, I felt like that thing could have almost beaten that GMC Vandura. So, I just want to jump back to the auto show real quick and sort of rip this car apart because I want to see what tires it's running. Because they weren't super grippy, but at the same time, it was like, I don't know, it felt a little strange. So let's see, tires. Tire compounds. The only thing we have bought is race tires. It was totally on race tires. So although we had a thousand horsepower, it's like, yeah, we were, we were weighted down with race tires. Did we had the front upgraded as well. Yeah, we did. We had the front upgraded, we had the rear upgraded all to the way to the max. So, we definitely had some things in the way that would have potentially stopped us from drifting as, as good as we could have. So, we had the 5.8 liter, uh, liter V8 in there as well. And then that thing was upgraded to 1,000 horsepower. So, that's not bad. Not bad at all, but it could have been better. So close to a perfect build. So, I'm going to end it there on what could have been an incredible success for the NYPD. Best sleeper car for 30k you can buy to drift around in. A Crown Vic will do. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Recommend me other challenges that you would like me to try here on the channel in the comments down below. Or on the leaderboard in the description down below. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!